again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am doing a 12 by 12 layout. I am going to be using, I don't remember which one I chose. I'm going to be using, <laughs> oh Lord. I'm using a page map sketch from February 27. I'm going to use this one here. Um, uh, and I only, instead of four photos at two by two, I have one at four by four. So, this will be the same. And I am using the beautiful Blue Skies collection from Close to My Heart. These are the three pattern papers that I have left. This beautiful geometric with the wonderful zip strip. Fabulous floral on the back. This pink plaid. This grid paper, I did make one already with this as the background, so I will be using the pink plaid. And I have this, <coughs> excuse me, navy tone on tone. And this grid on the back. So I'm gonna use the blue, I'm gonna use the pink, and I'm gonna use both sides of this fun color. This is just a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock that I have in my kit, or my kit, in my stash. And I need one, two, three, four, five. So I need five triangles. And I have one, two, three, four, and I will use the grid five. So there's my five triangles. So let's see how bad I can screw this up because you know I am horrible at making triangles. <laughs> All right, so I need two big ones that look like they're probably four by six. So I'm gonna use this one. So I'm just gonna cut it. Hopefully this works, I'm gonna be very upset if it doesn't. All right, so there's the two four by sixes. And then I need portion. And we're going to make this, should have cut that whole zip strip off as one because those daisies are super cute, but all right. It's all right. All right, so it's 12, so we're going to take a three and a half. That's a triangle. triangle. So all I'm going to have left is um, scraps to get in probably one more layout out of it. And we're just going to do this six. I'm going to do that one by six two and we'll do the three and a half. All right. So Okay, so now I, what I want to do is we're going to find a clean spot on my desk. Alright, so that's six, so we know that three is in the center. Okay, so we put 
this in the corner. I'm going to have some fun pattern papers to work with afterwards. And there's the one triangle. So four. Doesn't really matter because I'm using both of them. There's my center, and I'm pulling it towards me so that I can see if it's lined up over here. And then, like I said, it doesn't really matter because you just want to make sure that it's lined up there and there. Right, and those, these were funky. These were five and a half, so it's going to be two and three quarters. I'm going to say right there, right? Sure. Whoa. Have a lot of fun little patterns to work with when I'm done. Different shapes are all going to be. I'll be able to do some weird triangle one. All right, what was this one? This one's six and a half. So you need one, two. So we're going to say that is not it. Pray that that's it. All right, that's in the center. And yes, I still need to change my trimmer. working on it. I had to go out and do yard work. It was not fun. We've been trying to regrow the grass because I apparently had nothing but weeds. Ha! I don't know. Now I have all these scraps, so I can't wait. I love, like, really that's my favorite type of layout is to try to make a scrap layout to take the shapes that they're in. So, okay. I changed my ATG. This is from 2003, okay. All right, so I need to write that down because I do have wrote on the back here. January, 2003. I like when I remember to do that. Okay. And this, I did place an order and get some more of this Blue Skies paper before it goes away because I absolutely loved it. It's like my first Close to My Heart collection kit ever, and it's my favorite. So, I'm sure that they will all live up 
to the standard that that is. Now I'm just taking my, my Tim Holtz distressor tool here. If you do not have a distressor tool, you can just use scissors, but my trimmer sucks. My blade needs to be changed and I was just too lazy to change it. So it's kind of jacked up. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make it look like it was supposed to look like that, see? Happy accidents turn into fabulous designs. All right. So they have like a sheet of paper in there and I don't want that. Um, but I am going to They also have a sewing machine, so I'm gonna have to sew. Do, 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 do. Something like this, huh? One. I'm just trying to like figure out my placement here in case anybody is wondering what I am doing. All right, so that is going to be pretty much how it goes, and then I'm going to stick the picture. I like the picture right there. I think I'm going to move it over a little bit just so that you know they have the picture down here, but I like the picture here because I don't. Hmm. Hmm. What if we did this? Nope, nope. All right, I'm gonna work on this and I'll come back. All right, so I got it on the layout and then I got my sewing machine out and well, it gave me a fit. So I got the, I got those sewed down and I just went ahead and taped everything on the back um, just so I wouldn't lose any pieces. I just kind of used just that washi tape and just tape it down. And this is the way I want it to go. And I'm going to put my photo here. I'm going to pop it up on some fun foam. Um, just the cheapo item from the dollar store. I'm, I'm actually going through it. I'm pretty impressed with <laughs> how I've been able to <laughs> really use my stash up of fun film. So just throw those back up there. I started this layout this morning and then I had to go to work. So it's now after work. So the lighting's probably different. You guys are probably like, what's going on? Um, also, don't forget to check out my uh, 100 subscriber video on my page. Um, in case anybody was... I'd like to map this again. I wonder. That scrap's pretty used. Um... You have until June 7th of 2020 to go ahead and get on over and watch that video, like it, and leave a comment to win a giveaway. Um, I got a little prize pack with some close to my heart and different stuff. I'm trying to use all this up. 
kind of like the green and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pink color and we will just roughly get that down just kind of border it um, to bust it away from the background get my t-square ruler and this is the Blue Skies kit from Close to My Heart, and I'm in love with it. I actually just ordered, um, I had to place an order for a customer, and I went ahead and tapped on uh, another one for me. So, yeah, I love it that much. I really do. Somewhat straight. Alright, and I wrote the date down. This is January 2003, so obviously the uh, summer fun isn't gonna work. And these do not, this is not a part of the kit. These are just uh, stuff that I had in my stash that I was trying to use up, but. I'm not thinking I'm gonna be able to this time around. I had it for my um, other one, my other kit that I was using. But I like this little butterfly. I've been on a butterfly sequin kick. Obviously, sequins are my my product focus for June. I didn't think about what month this was. Um, And I got some of these little guys. Yeah, I want to use that. Okay, I need some kind of foundation. Just found that in my kit. This is just all little bits and pieces that I've had sitting over here, so... Gonna embellish around the uh, the picture here. I use the uh, close to my heart um, frames or um, die die cuts and frames die cuts that were tagged. I don't know why I keep saying frames. So. I'm just going to get some tags on here. And my yellow twine. I'm a mess. I had to go outside and water and ugh. My fiance planted a garden and then conveniently went, out, went to work. <laughs> so he's on the road and you know. He's not going to be home for a while. I'm like, I hate watering. And it's not close to the hose, so you kind of like gotta, you gotta walk to it. Anyway, uh, my goal is, I just put a little bit of glue back there just to hold it so that, well, those are sharp scissors. And I always like, instead of just one, I do like tr double or triple. Um, loops just to give some more dimension and interesting effect I guess you could say and I always put, yep, always put it back there and then I'm just gonna press on it for just a little bit um, just to give that glue some time to hold which was not enough time because it's popping back up but I gotta get my lid on So, I'm to figure out, this was my last layout I think I'm going to be able to make with this until I get my next order in. So, which is okay, I have more, 
It's just always sad. I'm just going to go ahead and use the bottoms of this. Just stick those little guys down. And those are cute. See, that's his mother, but she's not his mother. I'm his mother. These I got at the dollar store of all places. There was a whole bunch of them for a dollar. My little enamel dots. I haven't been going too crazy with the embellishments lately. I think that has a lot to do with I don't have, um, I don't have a lot of embellishments with these kits yet. I haven't really built up my stash, so. But never fear, I will. All right, all I'm gonna do, where that look I go? Add that. I got this little key that we'll get on here, just for more pops of gold. Maybe if I can get all the innards out. I wish they'd just cut those out for you. There's no reason to send them. Nobody wants those. And that's like the last thing I have left on there and it's the wrong color green. Oh, that's so upsetting. <laughs> We'll put a couple more of these flowers on there. All right, and that's my layup. Ah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not all, I love, you know, it's all right. Uh, my title. You are my favorite. We're just going to use that. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Click that subscriber link below. Don't forget to go check out my 100 subscriber giveaway video before June 7th of 2020. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.